I'm chief of a uh, fire department, it's a 106-man fire department in central New Jersey. And uh, we came out to buy our rig from Pierce. Uh, we purchased from them in the past and the quality has been exceptional. And uh, we uh, put a lot into this design. We put together a great team of uh, firefighters, fire officers. Uh, from different shifts, so everybody would have input into uh, what we're looking to get to serve our uh, firefighting staff and our community best. And as we take a walk around, I'll show you some of the features that we like and put into, uh, into our apparatus that we uh, design. One of the reasons we went with the uh, Pierce Velocity was for uh, the room that the rig actually gives. If you look and you see the space involved on the interior design, uh, the rigs we've had in the past were quite tight. Uh, the engine tunnel seemed to come back further, which limited our space and, uh, and uh, movability within the rig. We have a lot more room uh, on the interior design, the way the seats have been set up in here, with the pegboard off the back uh, of the rig here to store some of our tools. So when the guys come out and they go to deploy, they can reach right in and grab their tools uh, that they need to take to go into service. Uh, we found there's a lot of uh, storage capabilities within the uh, side, the way we design this. Um, with the compartment space, I think it's going to work out well. Um, one of the things we wanted to make sure we got, and one of the guys asked for, was to have a spot uh, for our crew members to store their gear. Uh, we really didn't want to keep the gear so much uh, in the rig, especially for like medical aids or when they're going out on in-service inspections. So we made a, a compartment for the guys to store their gear. Uh, the officer will have one uh, on the opposite side and the driver will have uh, his gear storage on this side. Uh, we're also looking at putting a storage spot here uh, so the riders in the back of the rig will be able to hang up their own gear. What we tried to do in the design and one of the main features that we liked about the rig and we'll see that when we get around the back was we wanted to make sure that we could get our ladders deployed from ground level. Uh, one of the things that was a main concern to us was be able to, to get into service quickly uh, on rescues. Uh, on rigs we had in the past, we used to have the ladder rack that we had to deploy down. That took a few seconds to get your uh, aerial, uh, your ladder apparatus off and to put into service. And, uh, but we didn't want to give up our 28-foot ladder. And that was a problem for us. We were limited to a 24-footer. Uh, we went back and forth uh, with Pierce, and thanks to their engineering staff, they assisted us in designing the rig so that our 28-foot ladder would be able to fit into the compartment in the rear. If we come around back, I'll show you that. And the space and storage on this rig is, is just tremendous. Uh, some of the rigs we've had in the past, we've had to cram you know, the uh, materials we have to carry now. Uh, uh, for service on the highways and the specialized materials that we carry take up a lot of space. We're going to have a lot more room. Things will be easier uh, to grab uh, in our compartments and more uh, logically stored for ease of deployment. This is the uh, ladder compartment we got put in the back. Again, having that 28 foot ladder was critical. The engineering staff helped us design that so that it would fit in. They had to do a little reconfiguring with some plumbing. And uh, we had to, it was like a give and take. We've learned one thing, that every reaction of what you want to do, everything you want to play, of course, is another reaction. So we played a little give and take, but we got what, our, what we wanted with our ladders, and uh, we're particularly happy about that. Again, fast deployment for rescue was one of the key things we wanted that set up for. One of the things we were looking at in our design and we wanted into our front bumper, obviously we wanted a line on the front uh, for deployment. But we also wanted it to be a little multi-purpose as a standpipe pack for high-rise operations. So what we did, we had the front uh, bumper set and designed that we could put our standpipe pack in here that we could take to deploy for high-rise operations or we could use and connect off our front inlet uh, for operations uh, for an additional line anywhere within the structure fire or building or operations that we're at. <clears throat> One thing we had uh, here to do while we were here too was make sure we pre-ran all our wires for all our radios. We used to do a lot of that uh, ourselves, uh, but you can see how nice their, their operation did with what they did with uh, setting up our radios. The system is not on, it's not going to allow you to uh, one thing I can say, the staff here has been very helpful. Greg Caridi, our salesman, was outstanding. Uh, 
If he saw something that we needed, he would work with the engineering staff to make sure that they could accomplish it. They would for us, and it worked out very well. Everything we've looked for as our team to put together um, this piece of equipment, uh, what we were looking for, has worked out well. And uh, we thank Ray, we thank Pierce. It's, uh, it's gone well for us. We're happy with our rig, and we're looking forward to delivery within the next month. It's been good.